This is the hand of a person uh, who wanted to know about his particular life and uh, he mentioned uh, that uh, his left side of the body is weak. The first thing is that and the second thing is uh, he suffers from cerebral palsy uh, and uh, the left side leg several times there have been operations from 1999 to 2007 his age is right now 30 uh, 30 34 uh, basically when we look at the hand we really can't make out if a person is going to suffer from this particular disease but we just try to see few abnormalities in his particular hand and uh, if they are basically showing up prominently. Uh, cerebral uh, palsy is basically uh, it is uh, it is like a, it means like a, a group of permanent movement disorder it is considered to be that and it appears in early childhood signs and symptoms vary according people often people include poor coordination stiff muscles weak muscles and uh, tremors uh, there may be problem with sensation vision hearing so swallowing and speaking see all these basically disorders could could be seen under this particular area this is the area of saturn saturn basically uh, uh, it basically weakens our hearing, our sensations also, our nerve systems also could be seen under this particular area. So having lesser lines over it is always better than having more lines over it. Uh, it's not just the amount of Saturn, even uh, this particular, this is the headline. And if the headline is damaged, even that area gets disrupted and even if the lifeline is damaged, or is kind of like uh, island like formation basically again that is not the best indication to have and uh, this whole area basically would get governed by the Saturn area so first we see that under this particular mount there are many lines like crisscrossing uh, uh, these are uh, these aren't considered to be the best like uh, these kind of lines Perpendicular lines are always better than horizontal lines and crisscrossing lines is not considered to be good. First thing is that. The second thing is that the headline is coming and kind of ends out here and a new line basically develops. So there's a changeover that is happening sometime at the intersection of the money line, this particular area, uh, this particular area. So this age is approximately age 34, 35. That's when we see when we see a much more prominent headline developing. So probably he would be able to overcome his problems. When we see a stronger headline, it basically means that problems do end because uh, strong headline depicts that the person uh, has a very clear vision of, uh, of himself and uh, things around himself. And, uh, he did mention uh, that uh, uh, his all his friends are settled, mother is, a, is retired, is trying to give a bank and teaching exam, and uh, but he hasn't got, got through. So uh, the amount of Saturn basically is the area of delays. If there are too many crisscrossing kind of lines, then basically the person faces delays in his life. But again, uh, when we see this area to be disturbed, so this area disturbances on the headline could mean change in thought process. So uh, this is the starting point of the headline out here. And as it progresses at this point around 18, and from here to the intersection of the money line, uh, the age is between 18 to 35. So uh, this is a, the most disturbing area. He also mentioned that uh, uh, his father left 
when he was just 10. So, probably the headline uh, not so good co could mean that, but again I will try to clarify it does not mean that if your headline is broken uh, all these things similar things are going to happen to you, but it could mean some kind of like uh, mental agony or mental problems uh, in life. It could be it could be injury, it could be uh, head injury, it could be just mental troubles or just plain acidity or stomach related problems. So, uh, we cannot be really sure what problems there could be, but surely there could be pr problems. This area is the mount of Venus. Venus out here many lines are crisscrossing like this and touching uh, touching the headline as well as the money line. So, finances has not been very good. There might have been many oppositions in his life and apart from that we do find that the lifeline is kind of curving inwards. Inward is a, a movement of the line is not necessarily a good indication, uh, but we see a dual thing. We see a inward movement as well as a outward movement and this formation makes uh, an island like formation. So, island like formation on the lifeline could mean uh, like stagnation or uh, problems with health uh, and uh, uh, and the starting of the problem is when the lifeline splits. Splitting of the head uh, lifeline basically means the problem has started at this particular point and as the line progresses uh, at this and then it merges again. So, this particular point what we see the lines are very distinct far apart. It means at this particular time the problem is going to be maximum and when there is tapering so ending of the problem. So, probably the portion out here the age 35 as I mentioned earlier that is when the problems are likely to end. Uh, they are going to remain, but uh, not in a ma major significant way uh, and they are going to basically taper off with time to come. Now, we look at the mercury finger. The mercury finger is quite long uh, indicate and crossing the sun line first phalange line. So, it is considered to be good. A person can be good in communication, technical skills, business skills. Although, the area under uh, the amount of uh, mercury is is not so prominent like there is no good padding over it, but yet uh, we find few perpendicular lines over it. So, a person does have skills. Uh, we also see the uh, carrier line. The carrier line is kind of broken in many bits and pieces, but sometime at this particular point the line becomes much more better. So, somewhere approximately at the age of 44 things are going to be really good for him. Uh, the best part of his life could be somewhere at the age of 44. So, uh, so this thing. Uh, having too many lines all over the palm, uh, like there are too many lines. So, uh, not the best sign to have. Having lesser lines is always better. We do see uh, like perpendicular line between the second and the third finger. So, whatever education he takes up uh, it is going to benefit him. So, it is advised he takes up as much as education as possible. This is his right hand and this is his left hand. Left hand also shows uh, similar indications and uh, uh, there is a mixture of many lines like we, we really cannot make out uh, how, uh, how these lines are developed and uh, like uh, there is lots of confusion between the lines and too many uh, crisscrossing kind of lines like going from here also this this way. So, it is always better to have a very simple kind of a hand and uh, simple hands give better result compared to complicated hands. Uh, but, uh, but uh, even these hands do have their uh, uh, the, the quality uh, they might lack due to the distraction they are facing or probably they are getting distracted. That is why they are not able to make the best out of 
their work but if they concentrate and work even these hands i have seen do give excellent results it's just they have to focus their energies towards a single goal uh that's it for this particular video thank you for watching my video and uh, if you like the video do sub subscribe and do give a like button